Friday the 30th of November and it is Way Day. Hope you've all had a fab week. Um, how has my week been? So last Friday didn't start well when I overindulged in Prosecco <laughs> um, and there was a few nibbles. So I was definitely within flexi sins as I said if you watched my video the other day but I was um but I was well over my daily 15 sins, that's for sure. Um, so, how did the rest of the week go? Well, Saturday I just felt rubbish. I have not felt like that for a long time with Prosecco. Um, I don't know why, because I probably had no more Prosecco than normal, but I just felt rubbish. Maybe because I didn't have a lie-in or anything. I had to get up and go to work. Um, yeah. I just felt rubbish hung over all day until lunchtime I came home and I made myself a big bowl of pasta so it wasn't food optimizing it was just pasta with salt and pepper but afterwards I felt so much better I think I just needed to eat something properly I think I'd had breakfast yes I had breakfast I had Weetabix um, and some fruit so that was kind of food optimized but um, yeah didn't feel good the rest of the evening I made um, so the rest of the day then I had um, risotto and I went out in the evening to go bowling I was going to drink but I decided to drive um, I did have a glass of Prosecco um, and then the rest of the time I just had Pepsi Max um, I, I just didn't fancy drinking I didn't fancy drinking again because I didn't want to feel like I felt that day the next day um, so yeah it was just no drinking then and then on Sunday we went out to a national trust and had a really lovely day lots of body magic uh, walking and things like that I also did my uh, boot camp on the Sunday as well um, and then we just sort of had like a lazy afternoon watching a film and then Monday was I didn't go to boot camp Monday I went um, Christmas shopping with my mum and but I did do a workout first thing in the morning uh, Wednesday was back to boot camp and food wise yeah, food-wise, I've been absolutely fine. I probably eat a little bit more pasta than I normally do. Um, in fact, yes, I've eaten quite a lot more pasta than I normally do, but I've enjoyed it. I had made a Cajun um, beef mince Cajun pasta dish. So basically, I had made a bolognese. The next day, I used that bolognese and I seasoned it with Cajun seasoning. I use the Spice and Tice one, which is really nice. Um, I have a discount code of 20% off it if anyone's interested, which I put in the drop down bo box below. Um, but yes, I really like the Cajun seasoning. And then I use macaroni, um, macaroni pasta and I mixed it all through. And then I use part of my Healthy Extra A, I use the Stronger Spreadable Lighter Cheddar, um, which I use half a tub, which was um like that's a whole healthy extra a but because it's split between me and darren obviously i allowed half and i didn't have a full i didn't have a full half of the the serving that was i didn't have a full half of what was what, what was there um so it was probably just under half my healthy extra a but i mixed it all around and it was delicious and i served mine with salad um we had curry I had chinese chicken curry yesterday which um again i use the spice and tice it does tell you on their recipe inside which you can follow if you want to um to add flour um but i actually use xanthan gum which is free so i mix it up into a little paste first pop it in there and it looks a bit lumpy you don't think it's going to go down but if you keep stirring it leave it for five ten minutes come back to it keep stirring it eventually it thickens up so you've got that chinese chicken curry kind of Thing going on and served it with a little bit of rice and the rest was uh, broccoli and cauliflower um so yeah i've had some really good meals this week um also i bought the, a gammon so i had fanta gammon again which again was really nice um yeah i served it for breakfast the next day with the boiled eggs and spinach and a sriracha sauce which i absolutely love um ralph's had some and darren's had some so that lasted quite a while actually but i really enjoyed that um so yeah that that's basically my week so how did i get on a group um group was quite busy today i was on the weighing um scales today so i did the weigh-ins i usually do i've been doing the teal because i'm part of the social team now so i've been doing the teal um, and i feel quite confident on that now but i just wanted to try the weigh-ins and see how i got on just to sort of re-familiarize myself with it because i've only ever done it once um but yes that was quite good fun um and yeah there was a few actually that went to, got to target this week so that was really good but yeah how did i get on so i stepped on the scales 
and I put on half a pound. And if I'm totally honest, I thought I would because it's because it's the week after Star Week, which is the real week I struggle with. Now, a few times I've kept my sins low that week. This week I haven't. I've kept my sins high. So obviously Friday night I was out. So other days I kept within my sins, but the Friday night I'd gone out. If I'd kept my sins low or done a couple of SP days, I think that would have helped. Um, so this is something I need to keep an eye on. So the week after Star Week, I need to be on it and keep my sins low. Um, and like my consultant said, they are there to be used, but sometimes you need to recognise when your body does sit funny things. And that's my body. I'm not saying anyone after else that has after Star Week is a problem. Some people it's the week before, or the week before Star Week, you know, it can depend. But my weight loss has been very up and down. So I need to now understand when those, those are going to be. So I've marked it in my diary so that I know when my next Star Week is that week I need to do like two SP days at least and keep my sins low to kind of get you know hope for a maintain or at least a small or at least a small loss at least a uh, big loss would be amazing but there so I've still lost 42 and a half pounds but I'm, so I'm absolutely fine with it and I kind of guess that I kind of having a lot of pasta as well I just felt that I was going to be in for a gain and last week before weigh-in I got on the scales and it was exactly as it was at group. This morning I got on the scales and I don't normally weigh myself. It was only last week I started to again. And I thought, I really don't feel like I've lost anything this week. I really felt like I've gained. So I got on the scales and I was 10 stone 10. So that would have been like a pound and a half. I think it was just 10 stone and 10 and a half. It would have been a pound and a half gain which I was really gutted about because I was like, you are joking. All right. in, my, in fact, it might have been two, two pound gain, I can't remember. Um, let's just have a look. Yeah, it would have been a two pound gain. And I was a bit like, are you joking? And I felt really disheartened and I thought, well, I've got to go to group because I said I would help out on a group. I'm part of the social team and I'm not going to miss a group. I don't ever miss a group. But so to put on a half a pound, I was like, well, that's brilliant. <laughs> um, so I was pleased with that, actually, because I was thinking, oh, my gosh, I really don't want to put on two pound. But yeah, so I'm going to I'm not going to weigh myself before group. I don't know why I even did it, because I never do that ever. If you've watched my channel for a long time, I did it for a week once. And yeah, I was like, no. And now I've done it the last two weeks. So no, scales are away, not touching them. It is all in the mind, so that's it. It's what it is when I get to group. That's it. How is my week ahead going? Hmm. So tonight I'm going out. I've got quiz night with the school. Um, I've found a bottle, uh, a can of gin and slimline tonics. That will be my drink. Plus, I'm going to take a can or two of diet Pepsi. Um, the Pepsi Max. Sorry. Um, I'm also going out. I will take some nibbles as well because last time I took some carrot sticks and cucumber sticks. I'm going to kind of take those. If I get a chance, I'll make some hummus. Um, I'm also going out Tuesday night, I think, still. I'm not 100% sure if that's still going ahead, but we're going around friends for Prosecco. As my consultant said, it's 30 sins a bottle of Prosecco. I didn't think I would actually drink that, but I actually think we are going to be drinking that probably each. So, yes, 30 sins a bottle of Prosecco. Um, I'm going to have some soup before I go out. I'll have my dinner and then I'll go have some more soup before I go out so that I know I'm nicely full up and I won't pick. Um, so that's fine. Um, and then on Thursday, I'm also going out. Um, Thursday's going to be really tough for me um, because it's the anniversary of my stepdad uh, passing away. So yeah, it's the first one and I thought I'd be okay, but thinking about it, Sorry. Yeah, I just feel emotionally it's going to be tough. So what am I going to do? Um, just be on it 100%. Just be on it. Um, however, I am going out in the evening. So I think that would help because it would kind of take my mind off it. I'll be with my friends. It's a girly night out, girly mum's night out. And we were drinking Prosecco. So again, my sins are going to be high and going out for a meal, which 
where are we going? It will probably be Italian, so it'll be fairly on plan. It's just if I use any oil in what we're having. But hopefully, um, once we know we've booked it, I can sort of plan what I'm going to have. Um, and yeah, just try my best. But I think the whole day is... I don't feel like I'm going to emotionally eat or anything. I've been thinking about it now, and I, I just... It, I've got upset and things like that, but I don't think I will emotionally eat. So that's a... Mm, Sounds awful, but it's an unscale victory right there for me. Is that that I don't have those feelings anymore? Like it doesn't. I don't want to reach for something. I just feel that I just need to take a little bit of a quiet day that day. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just <laughs> um yeah. So that's that, that's gonna it's gonna be a tough that day, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, I think just going out with my friends will take my mind off that. Um, but otherwise. That is it. Those are the only things. So my plan of action for this week is to kind of keep my sins low and do SP days. So I'm going to try and do an SP day tomorrow or Sunday, one day or the other. I will do an SP day and I'm just going to try and keep my sins low so that um, it will kind of help. So my consultant did say, why don't you work out? Is it? I can't remember how many sins we get for the whole week. And work down. So she said, write them down, write all the sins down, and cross them off, um, so that you've, or write them down, and then just yeah, how many sins I have that day, cross them off, so that I know that I've got so many sins to play with, and it will hopefully help me, um, just enjoy my evenings without going over the top. But I think the rest of the time it will keep my help me keep my sins low, so that I can enjoy those evenings. So that's my plan of action is to write down how many sins we can have and then that's it, like countdown. Um, just for this week only, I don't normally do that. I do just stick to my 15 sins a day and work within. But I think I'm just going to start at the top. But I'm not going to be too hard on myself because it is a difficult week and I'm just going to do the best. Um, and if I get a gain next week, I'll get a gain because I know it doesn't matter. I just know that I can get that off the following week. Um, but emotional eating isn't... It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's just the other ac aspects of going out. Um, but I just hope that the... I just hope that... Yeah, I hope the ho emotional eating doesn't kick in. Because at the moment it's not. <laughs> so, um, the other thing I'm going to mention is that I am going to do Vlogmas. I wasn't going to. And then I was like, I'm in an R in. And then I decided, yes, I am going to do Vlogmas. I decided last weekend to do it. And I just think it will really help me keep on track for the month of December. So I'm going to do it up to the 24th of December. I have no plans to do anything for over Christmas and that. Um, but I will plan to um, just do something for the up to the 24th of December. So I'm trying to plan everything um, and what vi videos I want to do. Let me know if there's anything you want me to do. I have a few Treat Bowl Tuesdays planned, so I will be doing those. And, and But I also have, um, so first video up tomorrow will be my December goals um, and my November reflection as well. So I will be recording that straight after this and that will be going up for you um, tomorrow. So um, that will what will kickstart the vlogmas for me. I'm going to start a tag video as well, so that will go up as well, um, probably on Sunday, and um, some day in the lives as well next week. Um, I think Thursday is going to be quite hard for me, so I don't think I'll really be feeling up to recording. But I will probably I I might pre-record something for that day. I have something in I have something in mind. Um, so yes, that is my week ahead. That is what I plan to do for Christmas. And the other thing is that um, SlimCon 2018, if you didn't know already, it is happening. It is going to be at a hotel in Reading. So if you're near Reading or around the area or prepared to travel, that is where it's going to be. Um, there is a lineup already. Um, I think more people will probably be added as we go, but there's really good lineup so far. I will be there and there's lots of other great vloggers going as well already. Um, so yes, go and check out um, the website, SlimCon. I will put the link to the website below. But you can get off 10% 
um, of your ticket price if you book before the 1st of January 2019 and the code is Sarah2018. I will pop um, that below um, as well as the link to Slimcom um, in the drop down box below if you would like to come and join us. So thank you for watching everyone. I hope you all have a fab week and good luck to any of you that are weighing in. Do let me know how you've got on this week and I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care. Bye.